Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Judith and I'm the owner of Urban Wonderlust Candles. And today I'm gonna to show you how I run my small business out of a one bedroom apartment. Ooh, probably got that out. This is what my space looks like. I guess that's okay, right? I've been in business for about three years now and no one told me how hard it was gonna be running a small business in a one bedroom apartment. So I'm here to show you what it takes to turn my one bedroom, 800 square foot apartment into a working full candle studio. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're following me on Instagram, a lot of the times what you guys see are up close and personal shots of me either working on my, my laptop, or working on my workshop table, workshop table. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. But what you don't see is the mess that it takes behind me to make it. Look at this, that's my wax melter and I just leave it on my kitchen countertop. It lives there forever. I don't move it. Looking that shit around. Here's a really quick overview of what my apartment actually looks like so you get the idea. There's my girl Brooklyn chilling in the corner and this is it guys. My living room and my kitchen are combined all in one, no candle making space, but look at the views. That's what tricked us into getting this apartment. And that little desk that's in the corner hasn't always been there. We got it at the beginning of quarantine so I can work a little bit more comfortably because working from my couch on the laptop isn't cutting it. But yep, that's it, my little working corner. So we live in Long Island City, New York, as you can tell by the views. And initially when we were touring this building, we wanted to get a one bedroom den so that I could make the den my candle studio. But when we toured this apartment and saw the beautiful windows and all the light that was coming in, we fell in love and we were like, we have to have it. And I, and I sacrificed and thought, I can make it work. I can make this work. So our non-negotiables were storage space, candle studio, candle studio. Emphasis on the candle studio, which I don't even have. But I sacrificed all that because once we walked in and I was smacked in the face with all that sunlight coming in, I thought, I need to have it. I'll make it work. Don't worry. But let me show you what my candle studio actually looks like. So this is our entry closet that I've kind of turned into uh, my, my candle office. So behind here I have my printer, filing cabinet with supplies of paper that I use, like cardstock. I have my bins full of crinkle paper. In here we keep the packing peanuts, which I'm out of. I'll probably get some more soon. Down here I have my tin cans, jars for my wholesale clients that I'm running low on and I have to order some more. Then these are my original collection jars that I have up here. Then down here we have packing boxes, one box of wax, need to order some more soon. So back into my kitchen is where I keep the majority of my candle supplies. Back here, I have all of my fragrance oils, and you can see back there, that's my old Presto pot that I use for the past couple years. It's amazing, love it, especially if you're just starting out. I'll leave a link to it below so you guys can get it. I think it holds about like 10 to 12 pounds of wax, um, but then I replaced it for this one because I needed something bigger. This one holds about 50 pounds of wax, which is amazing. Um, it's, I think it's sold out right now. I'll leave a link where you can get this one below. See if you guys are, if you're able to get it. Then up here is where I keep more supplies. And you can see that it's pretty high up. So I need a step ladder the majority of the times to get up there. I keep more fragrance oils, but these are the bigger jugs. It saves you a lot more money if you just buy them in bulk like that. So I have the fragrance oils up there. So here I have my gift boxes in different sizes for all of the gift sets that I offer online. Here in this storage is where I keep, yeah, look, it's like a mixture of home stuff and then candle supplies. So I have my heat gun. Usually I keep my um, thermometer in there and then also my scale would go in here. And in this drawer, I have my wick holders for my candles, my candle lids, uh, muslin bags that I use for samples and for my room sprays and a bag of tea lights. So this is my desk where I get the majority of my work done. I have my laptop for personal use and then I have my work computer because I still actually work a full-time nine to five job. Maybe I'll make a video about that later on how to juggle a small business and working full-time at the same time. And I'm still working from home. And then I have this whole roll of bubble wrap over here that I've been kind of using as my side desk 
So that's my work desk, my side table right here until it, go, until it disappears. So under my desk, I actually keep more supplies. I have my label printer here. It's the LX 500 C. It's from Primera. Definitely recommend it. Um, I, I have to admit, I struggled a lot with it in the beginning. I even cried a lot trying to figure things out and get it aligned. But once you get it to go, you're good to go. Um, and then I have my Rolo printer here. I have this little Tupperware thing where I keep the wicks and wick sticker. And then I have another little Tupperware thing full of warning labels and some sample tea lights, and some pre-made stickers, pre-printed stickers that I already have out there. And then down here I have my business stamps, my P-Touch, my paper cutter. And I have more rolls for my LX500 printer. And then I have my thank you cards down here. So everything is pretty much easily accessible within my desk, my kitchen, and then my fake little office that's in the hallway. So my desk is there and this empty space here is where I put out my work table when I get large orders. But if I just get a small bulk of orders, I typically just do them right here on my kitchen counter because it's so much easier than bringing out that table back and forth. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So typically this is what my space looks like when I am working on a large order. The table's out, my desk is there, bubble wrap, that stays there. I don't even try to hide that anymore. But the table, if I'm not using it, I do pack it up and put it back in the closet. But if you look behind like a couch, I have more crap. Uh, so these are, this is a wholesale order that I'm actually working on that I'm waiting on lids that should be arriving today. And even in the bedroom, I have stuff like, look, this is more gift boxes. This is like the overstock of things. I don't know where to put them. I, can I almost forgot to show that right on top of my fridge, this is where I keep all of my pouring pots. And then way back there, you can see some more fragrance oils. Those are things like my um, seasonal fragrance oils. At least it's in the kitchen. It's within like a 30 foot radius of where I work. So basically the entire apartment is my studio. So when I'm working on an order, I jump on here, print out the packing slip, comes out from my Rolo machine. I have it here. I grab my little wick case, bring it over to the table here. I grab what I need and then I get to work right here. my wax melter over my sink. I kind of just use the sponge here to catch any extra excess drips of wax so that it doesn't dirty the sink. But you know, you can kind of see this is here too, but I just have to clean that up. So I take my scale, put it down here so I could just let it drain right in without me having to hold it and wait for it to, um, to fill up to what I need. Hey guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing so far. I have so many plans for the future and I hope you guys stick around for it.
I have all of my wigs in this little Tupperware and it's all labeled. So each one has its own little bin. And then I have some more here. This is just the ones that I use on a daily basis, the wicks. Usually I keep all of my excess supplies up here. I think I forgot to show you guys this. <laughs> so many things. So up there you'll see I have more warning label uh, stickers, juke bows. I have bags of wicks. I have lip balms in here. And in this box right here, I have my perfume oils. You can see how much space I have to work with on that. I'll just squeeze these in here somehow. Let's see. You can see how uncomfortable and messy everything kind of gets when I'm putting orders together. I don't have any space. How many square feet do you think this apartment is? Because I said like 800, but I don't really think that that's right. Yeah, but is it like 750, you think? Because I want to give... Yeah, I don't want people to be like, well, 800 square feet, that's pretty big. Another thing I can't wait to do is, I can't wait to move this printer off the floor so I can stop bending down just to change my label because my back is killing me. So as you can see, I'm working with a really limited amount of space in this apartment. It's fine, it's great, I completely love it, but factor in two people working from home an entire year, plus trying to run a business out of here, and it's not really conducive the way that we have to work and live. But for those of you working from a smaller space, you know, it's possible you could do it. You just have to think a little differently about how you store things, how you work around your tiny space. That's why I'm super excited that we're moving soon where we'll be able to have all this space. Peter will have his own office, man cave. I'll have my candle studio in some place where I can work my full-time job from, which is fantastic. And I can't wait for that. Stay tuned and make sure that you guys are subscribing and following the channel. Click the little notification bell so that you're alerted the next time I post another video, which should be all about the move. That should be fun. And stay tuned.